I'm Kathleen Million. I'm a Los Angeles-based figurative oil painter, and I paint on canvas. I started in a junior college, and I realized that I was most interested in the painting and the fine art and not the business of art. So I then studied architecture, and that's how I earned my living for a number of years. Once my architecture career was disrupted and we were moving around a lot and I was raising children at the time, once I had a little time to think I realized that I couldn't do architecture anymore. I really needed to find a way for art. So I was accepted to Claremont Graduate University and for me this was, this was the way to do it. I'm still creating environments, but I'm painting them now. When I create art, I can only talk about what I know about and what I care about and my perceptions. So right now, at this place in my life, that's why I do paint the domestic environments. So being in Los Angeles and then having children and entering this whole different world that seemed very foreign to me, but it was interesting at the same time to see the image that everyone's creating and this beautiful, idyllic settings that people are living in. And then get a little, and then getting closer to things, you'd see a breakdown, and you'd see kind of the underbelly, and it was so interesting. And it was, re I became really obsessed with just looking at situations and lifestyles, and just seeing like where, what's really under all of this? Is it really this perfect? Is anybody really this perfect? So in the painting um, behind me, I was playing into that whole idea of you know, showing opulence and using rich colors and just expressing this beautiful lifestyle that really is disintegrating before our eyes and how kind of the reality underneath the whole kind of facade. I think people like a, a lot of leeway when they're looking at art. They don't want to be told that this is a story. I mean, that makes it kind of uninteresting and you move on. Once you get it, you move on, you're gone. So I think when there's intrigue or curiosity or undisclosed, unfinished aspects to it, it's more successful. And because I do use representation a lot, that's something that I fight. Kind of that balance between showing enough and not too much and not creating too much of a story and just leaving it kind of open-ended for people and for myself. It's really interesting to me when you don't know the person and you look on the internet and you look at a face and you make a connection. There's some sort of chemistry that happens, I believe. And then I then take that person or an aspect of that image and put it on canvas. And it's so interesting that walking away later that I do feel that it was conveyed. And then the most exciting thing is if somebody else walks up to the canvas and this, does, this happens more often than not, they feel it. It's, it's just fascinating to me and I'm always interested in that.